Yeah, hello everyone, my name is Shoyu Ikeru. I was chilling on YouTube as usual, and one of the VTuber agencies that I was following released their first video. Well, I'm gonna admit it's kinda sus. So I want to talk with you about a few subjects. First, how to spot viewbotting, aka the increase of view on a YouTube video without any viewer, real viewer. Second part will be who can view bot? And the third and last part will be why? Why some people try to view bot? What are the benefits of it? So then the question is, how to spot fake views? It could be pretty hard if it's done properly, but this time around, it's not very that subtle. The th first thing that I want to talk with you is engagement. For around, give or take 1000 views, you get something like around 10 like-ish and one comment. One or two comments. That's a rough number, rough estimate. It's, it's not always like that. Um, those ratios are not respected, for example, if you do music, uh, if you do tutorials, some people will might want to ask more questions. Um, if you're doing something and you invite and encourage people to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, uh, there will be more like and more um, comment per view on the video. So all of those criteria are usually bouncing around. But when you get those numbers, 63,000 views for only 17 likes and two comments? One of these comments is even from a member of that company? Something's clearly fishy. And you can trust me, as a cat, I can smell them from miles away. Okay, we might want to try where the view came from. They might have come from another website, for example Reddit. They do have two posts over there, with 30 to 40 a vote, which is not that high. Uh, maybe Twitter? Twitter with 300 followers and almost no engagement where they talk about the video. They do have 16 more members on Discord. It doesn't help you getting 63,000 views on a YouTube video. And finally, the subscriber number. Something is really hard with that one. According to Social Blade, the day of release of the video, the video got 38 views and the account gained three subscribers, which is pretty decent and current. It's, it's actually pretty good if you um, count the number of subscribers as the number of views. The next day, 3,477 views and four subscribers, which is low, kind of very low, but could be wrong. And yesterday, they did 30,000 views and got 9 subscribers. Something's off. And even for the number of two days, they got 20,000 more views for two more subscribers. That's not what it should be. It's... The numbers don't add up. That's clearly some type of viewers that don't watch the content. With all of this evidence, Tomopulse is obviously buying views. Objection! Getting a lot of views on a video doesn't mean you're the one actually doing it. A rogue employee could have decided to quote unquote help the company without talking to the hierarchy. A fan could have decided to do it because they absolutely want them to succeed. Or someone can do that to harm Tomopulse. A competitor might want them to struggle to acquire valuable data on the people actually watching the video, or simply to start a drama to discredit the company. Even if you can prove that there is fake view on that video, you cannot prove their origin. Even you have an incentive for them to have a lot of view on their first video released ever, because then you will be able to make a video about a drama that you created yourself. What is this? Everybody makes sense. Talking about the upcoming Niji Sanji audition will probably get me more views. But with this example, it's clearly impossible to prove who helped Tomopulse with their video. Then let's just go for the last part. What do you gain if you're cheating on the view counter? Well, 
but thing first, uh, congrats, cheating on the view counter, it's a breach of contract with YouTube. Which is actually not that smart, because they are your platform. It's it's pretty a good idea to be on good terms with them. I'm just saying. So, the real question is, does buying view help your channel grow? Actually, not that much. The YouTube algorithm recommends the video on the people that have watched your channel previously. So, if both are watching your channel, the bot are the one getting the video recommended. And if they don't click on them, the video will not be recommended to more people. So, it doesn't really help you grow. They are not real viewers. They will not get you like, they will not talk about your content. It's just making your number go bigger. And that number, it's, it's all that there is to it. It's just a number. At the end of the day, there is way more risk than benefit. Because you could get caught. And when you buy a fake hit, what about the next video? Going back to no view? Putting more money on something illegal? What's the point? What's your next step? Usually when you do that, it's because you are quite short-sighted. There is no next step. Because it's not viable. Even if it worked in the beginning, it's going to come back to bite you. A lot of people have tried this type of service, and in the end, they got caught. Making good content is usually a better bet than trying to cheat the system. Growing as a VTuber is really, really, really hard. And some sort of advertisement is necessary to start up. Using Twitter, Reddit, making original content that people will spread, ma making good fan art, all of those are what people use. Music video, it, it, it's a pretty popular one. And if you got money, it's fine to spend some money on advertisement, for example with Google Ads. I'm, I'm not even sure if that's a good idea or not, but if you're confident in your product, in your videos, in your talent, in your ability to provide entertainment, Google Ads might be a good solution. I want to conclude this video with something simple. Don't cyberbully them. In the end, we don't have any proof that they've done something wrong. I am supporting all of the English VTuber community and encourage you to do so. So don't hesitate to check the live stream. Maybe you will like it. I definitely want to talk more about that. And that's why I'm doing a follow-up stream. It will be a live stream this Sunday, 9 p.m. CET, 8 p.m. GMT. I will answer all of your comments. The link is in the description. They will have a countdown. It will be on YouTube. And if you miss that, well, it's fine because the same link will be the replay. It's perfect. Trust me. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you've liked it. Ikaru, out.